Well, good day, my dear people. And, uh, yeah, still no door. I think I'm going to take the advice and uh, probably show up tomorrow with my wrenches and say, I'm grabbing a door for somewhere. Because, uh, yeah. Anyway, so good news is even though the trim kit is in here, we were able to substitute many of the items. So it's holding water. Um, you can hear the water heater uh, firing away because we filled it with uh, hot water. Um, hopefully that will help dissolve some of the uh, detergents in there. Uh, got a cycle guard mounted. We've got yeah, water heater shut off. Uh, we got our 270 pigtail pressure troll from stock. We got dozens and dozens of these guys. We turn it down even though it comes out of the box almost all the way to the top you turn it down. Uh, we've got our pressure gauge here with the tester so you can take the pressure gauge off and blow in and test to make sure the pigtail is clear. Um, in order to clear the, the door uh, we've got a street quarter inch brass 90 um, and then this is our blow down now, in order to put this blow down in, it's probably best in this particular situation to remove this screw. And my advice would be to get a number one JIS, Japan International uh, Standard uh, screw, because that's this is coming out of China, and excuse me, West Taiwan, and so that's where that'll that'll it'll make that screw come off a lot easier. Um, these are rescues. Uh, that have been treated with um, uh, citric acid to clean them up. Um, the only thing that's new actually are these uh, protection rods here. Um, we've got our hose and um, our barbed three-quarter female by three-eighths barbed fitting for the uh, sight glass drain. I think I've showed you that before. We've got a cap and nipple for a uh, clean out. We got our full port boiler drain there and I've left and I've carved away enough material so we can slip the uh, the framing for the uh, door there and uh, we even got hardware for it we believe that will fit when the door shows up without hardware I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put together a Well McLean survival kit this is the pattern that usually shows up with the uh, Well McLean SGOs, WGOs. Uh, this is also a rebuild that's been um, uh, gently uh, soaked in um, and scrubbed with citric acid. Um, and these are come out a little bit further. So hopefully that'll make it a little easier for servicing. Um, showed you this before came out fairly nicely this is the equalizer line all made up these are these um, merchant couplings because they're straight thread uh, you can do a lot more take up and that allows uh, for better fitting um, when you stick all this together it's a little little trick uh, two by six stainless steel nipple, uh, the clean out plug in the back there. Um, the shorter nipples that are close to the water inlet are stainless or extra heavy. Uh, that is a three quarter by half bushing. I've repurposed this. Uh, this is going to be where the water feed is. And so the VXT is probably going to go somewhere in here. We're going to install this uh, 3 8 male by female Webstone valve to uh, for servicing. Even though this is all black, um, I'm putting the stainless steel at the Harford loop there, and this is a bit of old stock. I think I use I bought two of these at a supply house in West Virginia somewhere. They did kept me around for 40 minutes trying to find somebody who would give me a price because they were so afraid that they were gonna let it go for 
Uh, I don't know. So I yeah, I'm never going to do that again. Uh, this is uh, old stock, um, um, not on Gossage, um, and uh, so male by female, one inch. Let's see if you get it. I don't think they even make that anymore. Yeah, I think you can see the Bell and Gothage logo there. So I redid this. It's the original wet return one inch steel. Cracked off that 90 uh, because it wasn't giving me good pitch. Got a uh, plug there for cleaning out. And uh, I've got a drain here. It's, so it's originally didn't have a drain. I think I pointed that out in my first video. Uh, this is a one by three quarter brass bushing uh, for for drainage. So it's looking good so far. Uh, I should have the VXT. Ah, oh, the flue. Yeah, let me go about that. Let me show you that. Uh, so the outlet on these SGOs is seven inches, and um, on this one, the SGO three, they're allowing for a seven by a five reduction. It's a little much. Um, Frank and I both agreed that it's probably best just to go out with six. And that's going to go up here. And then it's going to go into the six inch uh, chimney liner there. And the barometric is probably going to go about here. We've got our gas barometric here. Put a, we're going to put a seven inch on there. Uh, for um, good uh, authority, as you, as you would say, to uh, make sure when that chimney really gets going, uh, it uh, it doesn't um, doesn't uh, draw too much. Uh, we want to keep it around. I think what's point zero to negative zero point three inches of, of water column. Uh, some of you may know a little bit better than myself. Uh, there's our pressure relief valve. Again, this is from stock. Um, and um, I've got the uh, three-quarter inch T there with a plug for uh, clean out and servicing. So the trim kit, we're able to re have pull stuff out of the stock, but there's one thing that we're not going to be able to pull out of the stock with the, with the, with the trim kit. And that's this little piece of paper that comes with, which is called the CP number. That's essentially the boiler. So the trim kit really is legally the boiler. As far as Will McLean is concerned, this is just a boiler shape assemblage of parts. Um, there's the rating plate. There we are. And there is the schematic. And all the warning labels inspected by nobody. Um, all right, so thanks again uh, for your comments, <laughs> most of them anyway. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.